Now, uh, there is property, and there are property rights, and there is intellectual property. And in the same way that uh, data and information puts a little bit of a twist in the, the law and rights of property and what property actually is and what theft actually is. So intellectual property is fairly specific and it, uh, you know, there is real property land, uh, there is property in terms of commodities, uh, there is property in terms of ob objects, there's property in terms of artworks, and when we get to artworks, um, that gets us closer to the ideas of intellectual property, because artworks um, very often are reproduced, and uh, the original may have a greater value, but the, the reproductions still have a, a value. Um, and certain rights in here in the original, and certain rights uh, are lost when it's a copy. Um, but you have, uh, you know, possibly uh, other types of rights. So uh, we're going to go through intellectual property and the different types of intellectual property. Uh, but uh, in the same way that jurisdictions um, have different laws and different legal systems, so too. Um, when we are dealing with intellectual property, different jurisdictions have um, different attitudes towards uh, what intellectual property is and what the rights are and how important they are. Um, the, uh, and this, this is gonna vary by jurisdiction. Um, there, there are certain uh, international agreements, uh, broadly speaking, they're not universal. Um, you know, uh, different countries that will have signed on to different types of things. So, you know, it, it's, again, it's going to vary by jurisdiction. You're going to have to be careful uh, what the rights are and, and what the attitude to intellectual property is. Um, for example, in uh, Western culture, we have patent law, copyright law. Uh, we'll, we'll go through these in more detail. Um, and, and really, uh, we'll probably be looking at it primarily from a, a Western perspective. Um, it is um, nowadays... Um, more common that intellectual property is going to follow uh, the, the Western models. But, uh, specifically in terms of patents, I'd say, the, um, uh, the Western idea was you invented something, you discovered it, you had the right to benefit from it, um, sometimes for quite a long time. Uh, and uh, so people were not allowed to use it, copy it, uh, whatever, if you had discovered this first. And so you had prior rights. Uh, and that's what you know, Western patent law was, was based on. Um, it has, uh, shall we say, always been followed more in the breach than the actuality because an awful lot of the, the copyright and patent law um, benefits uh, corporations much more than uh, the individual discoverer. Um, but uh, we'll leave that for the moment. Um, 
Eastern uh, attitudes towards, again, patents specifically, uh, said that just because you discovered a device, a process, a, you know, whatever, um, something of benefit first, uh, didn't mean that you could uh, prevent anybody else from using it. You, the, the collective, the group, the, uh, the country was more important than the individual. And so you're, you know, you may get a bit of a prize for being the discoverer, uh, you know, you get your 15 minutes of fame, but um, you don't get to uh, live on the profits of not letting people use it unless they pay you. Um, so, for uh, quite a while, uh, as you know, international business was ramping up, this, this was a point of contention between Eastern and Western cultures. Um, and, uh, I mean, even recently, the, um, uh, the brain uh, virus, computer virus, um, was uh, made, uh, created by uh, some guys in Pakistan, and um, they said that they uh, did it because, um, you know, Western uh, people were uh, pirating software, and you know, so this was this was payback for them doing that. Now, I mean, this this was uh, a be, wee bit twee in terms of an explanation because these guys were in business, in the business of selling pirated software, um, because that was not illegal in Pakistan, because Pakistan did not have. Uh, the same kind of uh, copyright and patent law um, as uh, the Western world. Now, uh, that may have changed, probably has changed in the interim, but, um, you know, this, this was the type of thing that uh, we would see, that uh, uh, patents uh, were being uh, broken, being, you know, devices were being copied um, in Japan, in China, in, in uh, Eastern cultures and sold back to the West where they had been discovered and, and you know, therefore uh, creating problems for the original discoverers and, and those com companies. Um, now, that is, um, anyways, we, we, will, we will go into uh, a variety of things, but uh, there's basically four... Um, types of intellectual property, again, under the Western model, so there can be some variations here, but copyright, uh, patent, trademark, and trade secret. And uh, we will go into um, uh, all of those uh, in, in a bit more detail. Um, again, you know, the, the specifics are going to vary by jurisdiction. There are some basic principles, and one of the, the big principles here is you do have a grant of protection, um, but the owner is responsible for um, uh, their their own protection, and uh, you know this is means that it's it's much closer to civil or tort law than to criminal law. 